Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Falling Apart. Falling Apart. <laughs> Popping the tin. Popping the tin. Uh, I was just talking about all the things that hurt in my body. But regardless of that, we're going to review this. Now we review some bear, Black Locust, the one that came out about almost three years ago. So I'm going to link that video. I think it's going to come out over there. I don't know. We'll see. One of these top things, a link is going to oh. come out so you can see it. Uh, at that time, we gave it a, a three and we were kind of debating between three and four out of five. Um, these things do very well after aging it a little bit, putting it in your own mason jar. But, you know, we always review things fresh. So this is 2024's version of it. All right. So let's pop the tip. <laughs> 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 I'm if, trying to keep if you it have any, If you have any doubt that we have fun doing these things. <laughs> all I, and all I'm having is water. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And, and I'm having uh, Celsius. Okay. That may, that may not go well with your conditions. I know. <laughs> if he falls apart right in front of you, you'll be like, we'll cut it off. Well, we might, might, finally, we might get some, some good views, you know? <laughs> <laughs> like the lady that burned the kitchen now, yeah. Oh my god. Okay. So, um, a blend of the finest bright and red Virginias balanced with 2014 Basma and 2013 Ismer Orientals, Sun Bear, Black Locust, commends itself with subtle notes of raw, ethically sourced single farm honey from the 2024 Black Lo Locust pollination in Maryland. A variety price for its small yields, extremely light in color, and delicate, delicate sweetness. Mm -hmm. This is a lot of honey water <laughs> combined with whispered silver tequila and elderflower. Tequila? Flour. Oh, boy. This is tequila there. Silver tequila and elderflower. The natural black locust honey complements these specially selected varietal tobaccos, elevating their fruity and floral notes for a bright, refreshing character and creamy rounded finish good I lord finished. i don't know is, was that you jeremy reese who writes this this these are long long descriptions <laughs> my lord okay so we sure. we went completely out of order but uh she read it first <laughs> that's okay now let's open wait, the tin. Wait, we don't have it together <laughs> we're gonna open the tin this way which is a <laughs> wonderful thing <laughs> oh my god oh what a mess <laughs> We'll keep it interesting. Yeah, oh, has boy. a lot of paper. Now, this came out already Tuesday, um, August 13th at 6 p.m. Eastern Time. We are, there's two that come out on that day. So, we're, this one is going to come out for you guys on oh, Saturday. You see it there. there we go. There we go, yeah. But, uh, but it's on sale already, so. Hmm. It's like raisin, raisin nets. Raisin okay. Raisins in chocolatey. Oh my, yes. Is it? Yes, yes, the chocolate racing stuff. Mm -hmm. Perfect description. We agree on this one, on this smell, yeah. <laughs> wow. We never do. Well, I, so this already smells better than the one we did in 2000, I mean, in, in about three years ago. So I'm gonna take some out here. You already showed them what it looks like, yeah? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'll show them what it looks like on this. Yeah. And, I, and I'll break what it apart. What is that? cut situation this is like a uh, like a flake but already kind of broken flake mm. like a broken flake cut let me see if i can there you go and as you know this is you know the peculiarity with this is that it has honey you know honey you know from actual from a uh from honey from, no from <laughs> <laughs> it, it started being you know from uh, its own jeremy reeves um a hive but then he actually found other people that that had this particular um, from the black locust, which gives us a particular kind of taste. Well, I didn't smell the tequila though. And also, uh, you didn't smell tequila. Nope. And also, I was seeing, you know, what he described, and he also talked about the the ones that do it from the black locust flower. Um, this honey does not crystallize that quickly like the other honey, mm -hmm. so that's a property that helps. For the blending you know the tobacco blending thing yeah because usually honey does do crystallize that, yeah. yeah so uh that's why it's it's kind of special now there's been other guys and and you have to check them out um uh, there's been two tupelo 
Uh, we actually got this and, and we kind of forgot about it and we haven't reviewed it. If you guys want us to, just kind of put it on the comment section. That's what I was saying. If not, there's actually, you know, this is for... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hello. There will be from different types of, uh, you know, flowers. There's one from Wildflowers and then the, the original Sun Bear. Uh, we have all of them. And um, in, in case you guys want us to review some of those, um, we, we can, for sure. We're about to move. Um, actually, we get the keys to, to move this week, so... Um, I may be different a, location. Well, and also there's this big cabinet there that you want me to organize, and so I'm gonna try to get all the stuff that's in boxes and and maybe look at some of the plans there that um, we haven't reviewed and kind of. Yeah, you're gonna be surprised if all the stuff. There. Get a little organized, yeah, because a lot of stuff is in boxes, and that's that's a, that's unfortunate. If not, I would have here the one from, that we reviewed three years ago to share with you, but the, it's in, everything's in boxes, so right. limited space. All right, uh, moisture, we will say it's just mild, a little, mild to medium, the moisture. I mean, you, it sticks, a little, sticks a little bit, um, but that could also be, you know, the casing that he used. I mean, it's kind of a, it's kind of a sticky, sticky, it's some stickiness there to it. I'm going to use my Ecclesia pipe because it's beautiful and I don't know, it reminded me of the honeycomb and stuff, but you're actually going to use one that really has to do with honey. It's, it's the Savinelli Miel and, and the Tamper. I haven't seen this in a while. Yeah. It's so, so cute. I love so the I color. I thought that would be appropriate for this. You know, I was looking back at the one that we did in 2003, about three years ago. And in that episode, you wore a flat cap. Oh. And we switched and I, and I, and I didn't wear a flat cap. So that was kind of a, a, a cool episode there. All right. So I'm done with mine. Uh, you can st start stuffing yours there. Give me a little bit. And we'll, we will, um, you don't have, and you don't have to fill the whole bowl. So don't feel like you have to. Even half a bowl, you know, three fourths of it is fine. All right, so since let's feel the the quiet here, mm -hmm. um, I want to say hello to our friend from M to our friends from MBSD. Yes. So yeah, if you guys are looking for a estate new pipe, good price, uh, we always put a link on the, our videos with a discount, so you guys can uh, can get a little support bit of support our community. Support, yeah, support them. It's just a couple. And they have, you know, it's a small business, uh, great people. And like I said, really good prices. Once you go there, you'll see for yourself. Don't take my word for it. Go check it out. You'll find something, something good. Yeah, take advantage of this council. The link, like I said, is below. Just click on it. It'll take you right to the site. All right. It lit up right away. Uh, we're still not going to be going probably until I get it. Maybe I'm using this the wrong way. I'm using the big sound. I'm like, it doesn't go away. Yeah. This is so cute. Oh no. Well, I'm getting, I might be biased, but I'm getting some gorgeous smell from it. Could it be from this thing? Ah, yeah, it is. From this. Are you getting anything? It is very, it, it is lightly sweet, but it's not very strong. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's it's a sweetness, but yeah. And I think that's what you are hoping to get from this. Maybe a slight sweetness. Yeah, I, I can smell honey. Mm, good. Very faint, but it's there. Good. Me too. And again, it might be a. I can, I can smell it. It might be a placebo effect or something, but let me tell you, I do. I do smell sweetness right away. So very smooth so far. Again, this is just the first kind of few lights. I'm gonna do a 
Retro Hill pretty soon here and see. Running out of room. And sometimes you, you know, depending on, on how what's in the air, if you cover a little bit, you might get a bit, little bit of a, you know, puffing going. Right. Second time, let's see. Not giving up. I'm struggling with mine. All right, here. Try a little bit of mine. And I, maybe and I overpacked it. Then I'll get yours going. But mine is filter, right? Yeah, yours is a six millimeter where mine is a, it's a nine millimeter. This time we're both doing filter pipes. Um, yeah, yours draws tight. So you- I overpacked. You packed it pretty tight. Not that you overpacked, you slide like really tight. So yeah, cause when you draw on yours, it's like a thick milkshake. Yeah, where it No, with, with vein? No vein. Mm hmm. Quite, you know, for a Virginia blend, quite smoky. You know, there you go. Now yours is oh. ready. Quite smoky for a Virginia blend. Usually, you know, the Virginia blends don't have a lot of smoke. This one's quite smoky. It is. Now there's Orientals here too. And that gives you a little bit of that spiciness. And again, when I say spiciness, let me tell you the difference. You know, there's a spiciness that's with the with the puri, which is more of a peppery spice. And the spiciness with the oriental is more like seasoning spice. Um, so kind of different there. Uh, some people, you know, may like one or the other or not like either, but mm -hmm. that's what I mean. This is not a peppery, peppery spice. This is more of a condiment, you know, kind of spice. Like last time. Is the, is a lighter mm -hmm. version. A different, you know, like, you know, black pepper, for example, gives you a, you know, a flavor there. But when you add something like um, that thing that you added for that one of the recipes. Is it Vasca? Oh, uh, no. Jalapeno. No, 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 not talking about those type of spices. Spices like, uh, uh, it, it came in that, small container and you add it and you showed it to me and it was for your new. mommy yeah like exactly spices that that i add enhance the, yeah like last time on this one that we that we reviewed you talked about a mesquite kind of flavor there yes. right um so that you know that's where you have the turkey without mesquite mesquite and then turkey with mesquite that it has like really a lot of it mm -hmm. you could notice that difference well same here but I mean, it's not a lot. It's not overwhelming, really. Actually, I think this is a this is pretty pretty smooth. Now, I think it's gonna be the case with this. I mean, I still have to smoke it some more. But all of these guys, uh, this this some bears, they do very well for you to put them right away on a mason jar, let them settle, let them age, and if you'll see in a year or two or more, they they're gonna taste way better. You know. Right off the, the tin, you can enjoy that that tin note, which is great. And uh, some of the topping, yeah, uh, would be right up front. But with age, you know, that Virginia is gonna get so good that it's gonna kind of complement the overall blend. Now this this one is is popular. Usually, they sell out. Uh, so, uh, then, you know, this review won't be out, out until Saturday. Because hopefully you saw this one already that came Tuesday, because both of these came out this week. So I had to kind of separate them for you guys so that, and for us, so, so we, we couldn't do, you know, two videos at the same time. I mean, very easy. That's why people like this. Um, 
but yeah, I mean, I'm I'm getting a I'm getting a, a, an awesome room note. Like, I mean, very slight sweetness, but mm -hmm. I can I can smell that that honey, which is great. Yeah, our palette changes. I'm I'm thinking this one's gonna get better grades than what I did uh, the other one three years ago. All right, you need more time? Are you ready for a verdict here to give them a quick? Uh, I'm ready. All right, one, two, three. Two thumbs up. You wanna go first or me? Uh, doesn't matter. I go first. Okay. I, I would I've been going first the last three times. Anyway, do it. But that doesn't matter. Okay. Uh, it was a good smell from the tin. Immediately, they have that we said raisin, raisinets. Like, yeah, like chocolate like raisin raisinets. Chocolate mm. In there, so it smells really good, really beautiful. It is like a blonde kind of uh, mixture. Um, it had a, a, a good taste. It, it wasn't bad. The little, the only thing I did not like is it was just that little spiciness mm -hmm. that I found like in some areas of my tongue, not in everything, but it's just some areas. Oh, the Orientals, yeah. Yeah. So I was like. A little bit put up with that. Uh, very smoky. I give it a 3.75. Oh, uh, I'm not wow, you know, mm -hmm. in, uh, overly impressed. It's a good smoke. It's a smooth smoke. I just did not like that little mm -hmm. spiciness in there. It's just not, uh -huh. not, 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 not for me. All right. That's my humble opinion. Oh, I'm going to give it a 3.8. Um, I think it's, it's, it's a good plan. I think it's tasty. Again, you know, if some of you might want to age it a little bit more if you want to tame it down the rough edges. Uh, if you puff, 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 you're going to get more of that kind of maybe orientals there uh, seasoning that you may not like. So, and again, anything that has Virginia, if you puff a lot, uh, it's going to get hot. So kind of take it easy in terms of that and you're going to enjoy it more. This, if, I think this is a blend to sip, you know, maybe with a long stem and just kind of relax and take it easy. And I think you're going to enjoy the, the little honey, the, the slight little nuances. I don't think this is a blend to, to puff, puff, puff really hard. I don't think you're going to enjoy it as much. Yes. It is a good one to sell her, I like I say. Um, it's a great one to sell her. So, so that's just for that. If you like, you know, kind of cellaring things so that, you know, later on you can, you can really enjoy them. This is one to do that. Actually, all of the, all of these ones, um, all of the sun bears are great to sell. Right? And again, there's been at least, at least four different types of them coming out in different years. So you can go out and, 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 and get them. If you want us to, to review the Tupelo, uh, we can. But next, we're going to actually, unless something new comes on, we're actually going to do what, what people been voting on, which is the hiking and the burly morning fight. And the winner, that's what we're going to do next. Unless, again, something comes out that's coming out next Tuesday. We have to get it out to you guys so you can have the information. But I hope this was helpful for you um, to see if you guys want to try it or not. Uh, definitely, if you want to, you got to get on it because this one usually kind of sells out pretty fast. So um, They're very well known. So that, that's a company that is very well known. <laughs> yeah. Out of, uh, you know, these both are coming out the same day. If you have to decide between that and that, it's going to be a tough decision. They're completely different blends. Um, I think just for the coolness, I enjoy that a little more just because That's it's so coins important. and all that. Yeah. Uh, but, hey, they are both completely different, so you have to see. There's no silver quarter inside. Just yeah, no, no. Don't look for it. And, and this has perique, even though it's in small quantities. And this does not, if that kind of wants, you know, it's going to sway you one way or the mm -hmm. other. Uh, this has Orientals, this has not. So again, they're both coming out this week. If you have to decide, hopefully that help your decision there. Uh, they're, they're, they're different. And after this, you know, if you want to see, um, if you like fire and if you like, uh, what you they like call it, drool. flambe, you know, when <laughs> things kind of go like that. Uh, stay tuned. So, Price, uh, what she's cooking next, uh, you will like it. Every Saturday at 1030, you can enjoy it. Right after uh, right, uh, Flat Cat. Right after we do this. When we do this on Saturdays, right after, you have some cooking from her. Some delicious meals Lady you can Fire, prepare. Lady Fire's Kitchen is the name of the channel. Um, enjoy it. And we will see you again next Saturday All for right. another episode. All right. All right. Thank you for your support. 
See you next Saturday from 10 to almost 11. Hope <laughs> not almost 11. I, yeah. I, I always do fa depends. fast. It depends. It depends on what I'm cooking. <laughs> if it's something a little bit more sophisticated, it's going to be taking a little longer. So I like the, Places, I like yeah. variety. I like to try new things. Mm -hmm. uh, me so too. anyway, I hope that you guys enjoy it. Please okay. join me. Thank you so much for your support, for, your, for the subscribers, my new subscribers, uh, and your comments. I, I enjoy answering back and, and hearing your comments. Thank you so very much. Thanks for your support. Stay blessed. Stay lit. And we will see you next Saturday. Have a great weekend. See you next time. Bye. Bye. -bye.